So I've been playing around with a couple Spitfire libraries and I want to bring you guys into this session and show you what I've been creating with these dope libraries, man. Spitfire does it again. What's up, people? Welcome to the channel where we talk about music licensing, music production, and music business. If you love any of the previously mentioned, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my latest content. So today, I'm going to be breaking into a session that I started using a couple of Spitfire's libraries and they're super dope thank you to spitfire for sending these over for me to test out and use in some of my production so right now sports season is ramping up pretty much we got football season right around the corner so i've been creating a lot of you know up tempo mid tempo up tempo sports tracks that are high energy real heavy on the brass and just you know real big anthemic sounding tracks right so spitfire sent over a couple of their plugins and i've been using them one of them being thematic horns which is just super dope for realistic sounding horns and then resonate which has been super dope in adding some cinematic percussion and things like that so i'm gonna open up my session here in logic and we are going to kind of dig into what I've added in this particular beat. So the focus here is, you know, high energy sports, you know, winning, conquering, taking over, things like that. So I thought thematic horns would be perfect for something like this. So this is the first sound I added. And before I play that, let's open up this joint and, and just look at how it's minimal and, and beautiful at the same time. I love it. You can also expand it here and then you have some more options on changing you know, how the sound is played and the performance of it and things like that. For this particular sound, I use this setting here, which was really cool because it was like a, a quick punch and release. It didn't really sustain super long and it's exactly what I was looking for. So this is the first sound I put in there. So that's that. And if I wanted to add, you know, some some different effects, uh, this big knob here, you can toggle between reverb and tightness. So reverb, I have a little bit in there. If you want to increase it, you can just kind of increase that all the way up. Turn it all the way down. And then you have the tightness. I have it all the way tight. The style of production, I want it to be really, really tight. But you can loosen it up if you want. So I'll play it as is. And if you don't want it as tight, just turn this down. You know, so if you had an actual orchestra, obviously it's humanly impossible for everyone to play at the exact same you know measure and bar and second like it's just not perfect so if you want a more realistic feel then you can loosen up that tightness but for this and the style of production that i'm doing i want it super tight all right so that's the first sound i added now the second sound is this here and it's kind of like a higher harmonic note to complement this So that's the basis of this whole track. Everything is gonna be built around that, that movement. And then the last horn I added was more so of a melody. And this is the melody that's gonna come in during the hook of the track. So I use the lyrical legato setting in the Spitfire Audio Thematic Horns plugin, which was perfect for, you know, a melody. It's like a, you know, single horn instrument or a group of horns just kind of playing, you know, this melody that's kind of 
you know, it, it just has a legato feel. It's not as quick and punchy on the release. All right, so that's the horn. So the next plug-in, which is also from Spitfire, which is super dope, is Resonate by Evelyn Glenny. Shout out to Evelyn. Like, this is crazy for cinematic percussion sounds and things like that. So I added a few instances of this. Let's see, the first one we have. These are the timpanis. And what's cool about Resonate is that literally you have all these different sounds coming from these different instruments. So, you know, you got barrels, you got water tank, you got thunder sheet, which was another sound I used that we'll go over shortly. And you can just really, really get creative uh, with some of these sounds and some of these effects to just add a touch to your production with sounds that you wouldn't normally get from, you know, from any library. So I, I threw those in there just to kind of give it more rhythm and I'll play all of that together. <laughs> All right, so the next sound I added was this here. It's another percussion sound. And then another sound that came from Resonate, which was, was really cool. This was from that Thunder Sheet setting, it was this sound here. I think it adds a level of intensity to it. You know, when the, the track is driving and you kind of hear that sound off to the side, I think it just gives it a, a super dope effect. So let's play it all together. And then just this little tag of a sound here. It's just another brass sound. This was from Resonate. It's kind of like more of an effect thing. But it sounds like sounds like a brass to me. And I think, let's check. I think that might be from Oh no, that's from a barrel. I thought it was going to be Thunder Sheet, but no. So that one was was from the the barrel. So super cool sounds, man. Shout out to Spitfire for creating such dope cinematic sounds and libraries and just the the creatives that create this stuff is just is super dope. So we have that and then the last thing for me to really add to this track is just a couple more transitional things and then the drum. So let's see what everything sounds like with the drums oh i can't forget about this so i didn't i didn't title it so i did this crazy thing with with my vocals what i did was let's play let's take the effects off and just play it so i recorded this but then i threw a few plugins on there i threw a little altar boy on there pitched it down then I threw some saturation on there, Saturator X from T-Rex, which is a crazy saturator. Warms it up a little bit, adds a little bit of drive and distortion to it. And then finally, I threw the SSL EV2 on there just for, for EQ and compression. And I really did this, not necessarily to be a, a vocal presence, but more so of like a, a percussion, percussive element to it. So this is what that sounds like with everything else going on. <laughs> And then we got the drums that I have to solo so you can hear them. And 
that's it so that's the hook of the track everything else is just you know breaking things down and having an intro and verses and things like that but yeah shout out to spitfire for these two plugins really holding it down in this particular track i'm excited to finish it and and pitch it for tv and film and we'll see where it ends up getting placed if you want more information on thematic horns or resonate from spitfire i'll leave links to both in the description go ahead check them out and maybe you can add those to your production artillery as well if you thought this video was helpful please be sure to like share and subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace